All right, so today I am bringing to you what I believe. I'm pretty confident we haven't done one yet on NHL 22, but I'm bringing what I think is the first draft. So, yeah, let's do it. Uh, today's stipulation is going to be first rounders only. So I can only take players that were drafted in the first round, and I think it's only fitting that I take the Seattle Kraken because... You know, it's just, it, it, it has to be, right? First draft on the new game. You know, normally we randomize it, but it just has to happen. So we turn owner mode off. Fantasy drafts on, of course. We keep the cap on. Head coach, edit lines. Don't even think about it. Jabroni. Fog of War, I turn that off. I leave that on, but I turn off the meetings, and that is good. Okay. Which draft position will we get? I'm going to say 12, and I was wrong by a long shot. We got 27. Oh, boy. All right. Well, we can still get... A very decent player. Okay, this is definitely my first time doing a draft on NHL 22 because this all looks new. Um, Huberdeau immediately caught my eye. He has to be, right? Yeah, third overall in 2011. So, let's go with Jonathan Huberdeau making only $6 million. The good thing about having an early pick is that we get, you know, picks that are close to being back-to-back. -back. So... That's always a positive. Couturier went 8th overall in 2011, so there it is. Five picks after Huberto, same draft, and he's also on a very good deal at 89. So, yeah, I think that'll be our centerman. And then we have a uh, unreal first line already. What? Oh, never mind. I thought... I don't know what happened there. My brain just completely tricked itself. Just because, why not? I'm going to pick Jamie Drysdale. Probably a weird spot, but anyway. There it is. 80 overall. Still pretty solid. And we have another pick that's also right next to it, essentially. So, yeah, that kind of works. Should I take a... Oops. Should I take a goalie soon? Mm, maybe. Shesterkin was taken in the fourth round. Wow. I learned that today. It's actually... Now that I think about it, it probably will be kind of hard to find a goalie in the first round. So, yeah, we got Varlamov there. Everyone else, like, we got Bobrovsky undrafted even. Bennington, third round. And then, okay, well, we got Samsonov as well. So, there's two goalies. That we could take. Um. Hmm. That's a tough one. Well, we're going to take Varlamov because he's the best there. Uh, as a first rounder. So, yep. 87 overall. That's a solid goaltender. This feels so much faster. You know that thing I was talking about where when you get to the 20th pick, it really slows down for whatever reason and kind of glitches out? I feel like that's not going to happen in, <laughs> in NHL 22. Everything seems to load so much quicker. Perron, baby. There it is. Yep. First rounder. 4 million, 86 overall. Get on the team, lad. Brendan Gallagher went in the fifth round. Holy smokes. I didn't know that either. I'm learning a whole bunch today. Anders Lee went in the sixth round, apparently. So that is also a thing. Ryan Suter went seventh overall. We got Brent Burns in 2003. You know what? Uh, we still need a first line right winger. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up Raquel for that spot. 85 overall, very solid player. Yeah, let's take Ryan Suter. He is 36, but you know what? 85 overall at 3.6 milli, can't complain. So, yeah, that's a very solid pickup right there. Okay, it doesn't look like we have to rush too much for goalies, but, like, how many first round... Have I been saying first overall? Because if I have, then my bad. Bernier's still there. Is there anyone else as well? Like, we're gonna have to get a goalie somewhat soon. Jack Campbell went 11th overall. And you know what? Let's just take Jack Campbell. Yeah, let's do it. Just because why not? I'm going to take Phil the Thrill for our second line right wing. I'm also going to grab Jordan Stull because we are actually in need of centers right now. We only have one. So there's number two. And on top of that, we kind of need <laughs> some defensemen. We only have two right now, which is concerning. Eric Johnson, first overall. So he, you know, really fits the category. We'll go ahead and take him. Jake Gardner. 17th overall, first round in 2008. Yeah, 4 million. Sure, why not? Eric Stahl's on a league minimum deal. <laughs> Holy. Yeah, I'm grabbing him for sure. We do actually have a lot of cap space now from all the times I've sort of been saving. So we can probably afford some more expensive contracts, which is why I'm going to be taking Dusty Brown right here as a probably third line right winger there. Very solid depth forward for sure. Probably even like a second line forward, honestly. Ryan Getzlav, he's on a three million one year deal. Really, I thought he was on a much bigger contract than that, unless he re-signed recently. But anyway, um, center power forward, he could definitely be like a third or fourth line center for us. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab him. 
So our centers are unreal. I'm just going to throw that out there. Could have taken Jumbo as well. The disappointment. Ryan Hartman is um, taken, well, yeah, first round, 30th overall. He's a two-way forward. And honestly, he looks like he could be pretty good for our team. So, yeah, there we go. Pick up Ryan Hartman. So right now we need two defensemen and two wingers. Or I guess just two forwards. Doesn't really matter that much. And then we're done here. So... Yeah, we're moving through this pretty good right now. And as one of our, well, left wing slash centers here, I'm going to take Nick Foligno. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab him. He's on a 3.8 million, de million deal. 3.8 million deal. That's what I was going to say. I mean, technically, it's not wrong, but grammatically, it's awful. So, um, anyway, $3.8 million deal. There we go. Um, he was definitely on a cheaper contract last year. But still worth the pickup, in my humble opinion. Charlie Coyle can play center or right wing, apparently. Let's go ahead and grab him. 5.2 million, kind of a lot for an 81 overall. But, you know, we have been budgeting the whole draft, so we can kind of afford it. Now it is time to get two defensemen. The first defenseman I came across in this list that was taken in the first round is Ian Cole. <laughs> so, yeah, he was 18th in 2007. Let's go ahead and grab him. So we need one more defenseman. This is pretty much what I've been doing. I just go here and go through the list and see. Because I have no idea at this point. So we got Kulikov. Yep, 80 overall. Okay, there we go. 2A defender. It's taken 14th by the Florida Panthers in 2009. Dmitry Kulikov, welcome to the team. So yeah, this team is looking very solid. Aha! It still does take a little bit longer for some reason. But it's still significantly faster than the previous year. So anyway, let's sim the entire draft, go put the team together, and just hope we have some chemistry. Here's an overview of our draft, if you were curious. So that's what it looks like. Let's go to the edit line screen now. Man, our team's gonna be sick. I have a feeling that we are very <laughs> high up there in terms of chance to win the President's Trophy. I think we have a good shot at it. So um, no, don't do it, please. Best lines. And it just ruined a plus three. That's good. I really see what people are saying with that blinding green chemistry thing now. Holy, that is unbearable. All right, so Jesper Fast is not one of the players that we took. So I'm going to have to find out who is... Well, I guess I could just go to scratch, but it's Eric Stahl. So get in there. You're going in. All right, so here's the team. We got a plus three chemistry with Huberdeau, Couturier, and Kessel, which is huge. We got plus two with Raquel, Stahl, and Hartman. And then we have zero with Perron, Coyle, Getzlav, and Brown, Stahl, Felino as the last line there. And then on defense, we got a plus one with Suter and Drysdale, plus one with Cole and Gardner, and a plus two with Kulikov and Johnson. And of course, in net, we have Varlamov and Jack Campbell. So I'm going to honestly say that we get 50 wins. I'm just going to say it now. I think this seems unbelievable. And I'm also going to say that Huberdeau gets the most points. And he's going to get 94. So go ahead and make your predictions now. And let's see if you got anywhere close. And maybe I will be way off in my prediction. Very possible. Would not be the first time. Or maybe I'll be very close. Um, and I guess only time will tell at this point. Alright, we're off to a blazing 0-3 start. So, okay. Alright. So I'm thinking that my prediction is already miserably wrong. Should I go do best lines? Because for whatever reason, the game just hates when I edit lines and they prefer to have their lines. So 50 wins already looking extremely unlikely. I'm going to go ahead and stop the simulation though because I'm I'm just going to go do best lines because apparently the game knows best even though it ruins the... Like Perron has the most points right now with 22. How is that possible? With This line is plus three. Whatever. I'm just going to do best lines. There you freaking go, all right? Hope you're happy, game. The chemistry is gone. I'm going to keep our current trading block, uh, and I'm going to enter the trade deadline. Team's doing pretty good, but, you know, I, I suppose could be doing a little bit better. Like, um, is there any picks here that I should maybe go after? Any first-rounders, to be specific? I also learned today that Bergeron is not a first-round pick. Okay, I don't think this is going to go through, and I don't know what restriction you guys want me to have when I'm trying to trade for players here, but we got Ryan McDonough, who's on the block. He is a first-rounder. I'm adding in Jan Ruda just because uh, we need it to go through, but he won't play on the team, so it's it's pretty much just for the salary cap, um, but yeah. Let me know if you guys aren't down with this, because I know you guys said you want me to make trades, so I don't know what restrictions you want. Like, 
no first round picks as part of the trades or every player has to meet the condition whether or not they're playing on the team um let me know i don't think this will go through but let's try it anyway trade rejected okay all right we were too late all right well there isn't really any other players i would want to even go after so i guess we're kind of out here um Radulov, i don't think he was a first rounder was he maybe he was but even if so i don't know would we really need I, oh he was first round actually do we want him hmm 86 overall maybe charlie coyle and a first let's see is he still on the team can we get him all right ottawa can live with what you're sending um you're a bit off in value doesn't meet our trade okay well screw you i will also give you jesper fast no i will not because that won't work actually though what if i retain some of the salary <laughs> is that gonna make it work because i'll do it doesn't matter it's a one-year thing Hey, what's the rule against that? I need you guys to set ground rules because right now you just told me to make trades. All right, it's a done deal. We got Radulov. Ryan McDonough and Jan Ruda. That's the two players I was going after. Got traded for two firsts, McIsaac and Rodrigue. All right, so yeah. Um, we also got a big trade here. Voracek, a third, and Charlie Coyle to New Jersey in exchange for a uh, first, Baron, and a fourth. All right, interesting. Patrice Bergeron went to Dallas in exchange for two firsts. Huge. All right, so this is best lines. It wants Radulov on the first line with Raquel and Yiberdo. And then this is the second line. Okay, well, I'm not going to mess with it because apparently the game knows best. So I'm just going to leave it as is. And this guy was not taken by us. We got Kulikov. Boom. There you go. All right, back up to a plus two. Uh, they both shoot left, so it doesn't really matter what side they play on. I really want to do that, but I'm not gonna because, you know what, game? Yeah, I am going to do that. Screw you. Campbell's up to an 83. I'm pretty sure Jordan Stahl is at like, yeah, I saw him in the trade thing. He's 86 now, which is nuts. And I think for the most part, everyone else has kind of stayed the same other than Drysdale who went up by one. Well, there you have it, folks. We made a trade in a fantasy draft. Probably one of the first times <laughs> ever. Well, recently anyway. I don't know if I used to do it or not. Maybe in like super old drafts, but regardless... Um, 50 wins, probably not on the table right now, but still a good year nonetheless, unless we have a complete collapse, which is also not out of the question. Okay, the AHL is already in playoff mode, so that's interesting. We ended up with 47 wins, which you know what? That, that, that's still solid. I'll take that. So we finished second in the Pacific, 100 points. Let's go to the entire league. Boom, there it is. So the Pens finished with 108. They are in first. So we actually ended up finishing fourth in the league. So we still had a very good year. But the Pens, they got that 50. Unbelievable. All right. Well, anyway, uh, let's just see, for my curiosity's sake, which is the lowest team that made it into the playoffs. Is it 17 there? I guess it must be, which isn't bad, actually. That's that's not bad. So let's have a look at... Whoa! What happened to Huberdo? He only put up 66 points? What's going on? All right, well, note to self, don't draft him in the future and absolutely draft Jordan Stull, who put up 68 in 82. Raquel put up 64, Perron was 63. Okay, who put up the least amount? Go to the bottom here, Kulikov put up 14. That's all right, though. He was a plus 15, I'll take that. Gardner was a plus 23, Add a boy. Let's go to goalies. We got Semyon Varlamov, 35, 28, and 5. Five shutouts, a 9, 13, and 255. And then Jack freaking Campbell, baby. 12 1 and 1 with a shutout 943 and 185. What's in this guy's water? Show the entire league just because why not? We got Crosby with 92 points there leading the league, and then we have Debrinkit with 91. Debrinkat. I don't know why I substituted the A with an I, but anyway, Eichel with 90, Cooch with 89. Let's see who got the most goals. It was Austin Matthews with 48. A sniper, if you will. Debrinkat. I think he should be 90 overall. But anyway, that's just me. So, oh, Kaprizov's up there as well. Atta boy. Yeah, that's interesting. Let's have a quick look at the goalies as well, I suppose. Uh, Bennington, the nervous guy. Uh, Leonard, Merzlikens, Price, Hellebuck, Hart, Gibson. Okay. So yeah, kind of just the players you'd expect to see here, I suppose. Or goalies, I should say. Merzlikens had a great year, clearly, with the Canucks there. Um... And yeah, I guess let's go start the playoffs. Are you guys ready to get first rounded? Because I know I am for sure. All right, that's a hot start, but there it is. Just like that, we're getting dominated and we get first rounded. Because of course we do. I swear you literally stand a better chance 
at winning the cup in this game if you just barely sneak into the playoffs. That's where you have your best shot. Radulov, five points, five games. Out of boy in the lofts. All right, well, anyway, um, let's have a look at the awards here then, I guess. So Flyers won the cup. Pity Pens with the President's Trophy. The Ducks got the clearance as Campbell, Prince of Wales, goes to the Flyers. Uh, individual, we got Crosby with the Art Ross. Cooch with the Hearts. The Norris goes to Doughty. To bring Cat with the Lady Bing. Uh, Zegra, or Zegras, I'm still not sure which one it is, with the Calder. Samsonov with Con Smythe. Vesna goes to Merzlikens. We got Varlamov. There it is. We got something with the Jennings. Ristolainen with the Masterton. Um, Sujihara. That's going to be my guess at that pronunciation. Uh, with the Jack Adams. O'Reilly with the Selkie. Ted Lindsay goes to Cooch. And as we saw, the Rocket Richard goes to Austin Matthews. Okay, there it is. Um, let's have a look at the playoff tree, if you will. Boom, there it is. So yeah, that's how things turned out. Uh, let me know if you got close in your prediction or not. And yeah, that's going to do it. That was the first draft of NHL 22. So if you have any other draft ideas, leave them down below. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.